Hi everyone. Today we will explore how to use Kafka with Golang by building a coffee order and brewing system. We will cover how to send coffee orders to Kafka and process those orders to notify when the coffee is being brewed. Let's dive in. Apache Kafka is a powerful distributed event streaming platform capable of handling trillions of events a day. It's perfect for systems that require a large volume of events or message exchange. We'll use Golang with the Sarama library, a Go client library for Kafka. Without further ado, let's get started with the code. This project has two parts, a producer and a consumer or a worker. Here is the code of the producer. And this is the worker code. Let's start with the producer. The producer's job is to take coffee orders from users and send them to a Kafka topic. Here we have the order struct, which holds the customer's name and the type of coffee they want. When this structure is converted to JSON, the fields get converted to these keys. In the main function, we set up an HTTP server that listens for post requests at the order endpoint. The place order function handles the incoming orders. And here the server is started that listens on port 3000. Let's go to the request handler. It checks if the request is not post, an error is returned. To implement a producer that writes events to Kafka, we will take these steps. First, we will pass the request body into the order structure. Then, we convert it into bytes so that we can send data to Kafka. Next, we will write the converted data to Kafka. At the end, we will respond back to the user. Create a new order instance. Let's decode the request body into an order. This returns an error. If there is an error, we will respond back to the user. Oh, this function should be new decoder. Let's respond with bad request. This variable order represents the order placed by the user. In the next step, we marshal the order into bytes as we need to send it over Kafka that does not understand the structure of order. It returns bytes and an error. Let's receive these values. The error needs to be handled. Now that we have the order marshaled, we will write to Kafka. Let's create a separate function for this purpose. Let's call it push order to queue. Its arguments would be the topic which is a string and the message which is bytes. It would return an error, if any. Let's define the URLs of Kafka brokers. We have only one broker running on localhost 9092. Now, we will make a new connection to the broker. We will put this in a function, connect producer. It should accept broker URLs. This function should return the producer object, sync producer and error if any. We will begin by creating a new config.
we will use these configuration settings. On successful delivery, the message is returned on the successes channel. We will wait for all acknowledgements. And Max Retries is set to 5. Now, let's create a new producer. It requires the broker addresses and config. This function returns the producer and error, which matches the return type of our function. So let's return from here. Let's go back to push order to queue function. Let's create a new producer here using connect producer function. If an error occurred, return the error. We need to close the producer once we are done, so let's defer it. Let's create a new Kafka message. It is of type producer message. It should have the topic and the value. The value will contain the message we want to send. This message is bytes. Let's convert it to string. Finally, we can send this message. This function. Send message returns partition, offset in the queue, and error. Let's receive them. We will handle the error here as well. Let's add a log for ourselves here. We print the topic, partition, and queue offset here. In the end, let's return nil as there has been no error. Now, we can use this function in the handler to send the message. Let's say the topic is coffee orders. And this is the message. Handle the error and return with internal server error. Next, we respond back to the user. This map is the response body. Success is set to true. And the message is set to this text. Then we write it to the response writer. Our producer is ready. Let's move on to the consumer. The consumer listens to the coffee orders topic and processes the incoming orders. We will begin by creating a new Kafka consumer that will receive messages from the queue. We will also handle OS signals to stop the worker process and clean exit. Next, we will run the consumer in a Go routine. In the end, close the consumer. Let's start with step 1. We will create a new function to get the consumer connection, which is similar to creating the producer. Let's copy this. Let's make changes to this. The function name is connect consumer. Instead of producer, it will return the consumer.
Let's set the consumer config to return errors. Here, create a new consumer. Let's use this function to create a new consumer. Our broker is on port 1992. We have our worker ready. Let's panic if an error occurs. We will need a Kafka topic. Let's define it at the beginning of the function. Now, we will create the partition consumer that will receive the messages from the Kafka queue. This function, consume partition, takes the topic, partition, and offset. Here is the topic. The partition is zero. Let's get the oldest offset. This returns the partition consumer and error. Let's handle the error here as well. Let's add a print here. Let's create a channel and receive OS signals in it. Next, we create a done channel that we will use shortly. Let's create a goroutine that will handle all messages. This will run infinitely. We will add a select statement for different kinds of messages. If there are consumer errors, we will print those. This block receives a message from the consumer. Let's keep a count of the messages. For this, let's define the message count and set it to zero. We will increment the message count here. Let's add a log displaying the message count, topic, and the message itself. Now, extract the order from the message value. The value is a slice of bytes. Convert it into a string. This print simulates coffee brewing. Next, we will handle the OS signal channel. On receiving a signal, we set the done channel. Out of the go routine in the main function, let's wait for the done channel to receive a message. After done channel receives a message, Let's add a print showing the total number of messages processed. In the end, close the worker. If there is an error, handle it. Our consumer is ready. To see our system in action, start your Kafka server. I use Docker to run Kafka. Let's pull this image. Next, run this image on the required port. We are using port 9092.
Let's run the producer HTTP server. In this terminal, we will run the consumer. Let's send a request to the producer server. Here, customer's name is Alice and the coffee ordered is latte. This is the response from the server. Let's look at the logs. The producer pushed the message on the queue. The consumer received the order on the topic of coffee orders. Here is the message, customer name and coffee type. The brewing of the coffee started here. Let's place another order. The producer sent another message. The consumer received the second order from Tom of Iced Americano. This was the complete message. Let's stop the consumer process. Here it prints the number of processed orders. And that's it. You have now seen how to use Kafka with Golang to create a coffee order and brewing notification system. This example demonstrates the power of Kafka for managing event-driven applications and how Golang makes it simple and efficient to interact with Kafka. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Happy coding!